Welcome back everyone. Rain continues to pelt southern portions of the valley. We've been pretty rain free here in Terre Haute, but down along the US 4 or 50 rather the corridor from Vincennes to Washington into Lagodi, wherever you see these pockets of red and orange and even some lightning strikes being indicated on the storm tracker at this hour. That's going to be some moderate to heavy rainfall. Whenever we see red on the radar, that's a good indicator of rain falling at a rate of two inches or more per hour. But beyond that, though, there are a lot of dry areas hanging out with us at this hour. The main track of this system here is going to be directly off to the east, so this is not going to impact us in Vigo County or in Terre Haute, but we are keeping an eye on some pop of showers and storms that will continue to initiate over the rest of our Tuesday. Temperatures across the board right now 81 in Terre Haute, 81 in KZ, 79 rather up in Mattoon, 82 in Robinson and 81 in Albany. I'm showing you the dew point temperatures because this is really what's making a difference in what it feels feels like outside a dew point temperature of 70 in Terre Haute, 71 in Robinson and 72 in Olney. We'll put that number into our muggy meter and check this out. Whenever we see dew points that hit that 70 degree mark or get higher than that, that puts us in that oppressive category. It's just going to feel very, very humid outside and take all those precautions. If you are going to be outdoors, to stay safe in the heat. Make sure to stay well hydrated. Now focusing our attention now on Tropical Storm Bill, you can see it's spitting its way ashore down in Texas at this hour. It's going to take a track off to the north and to the northeast. Eventually we have this dome of high pressure that's hanging out across the southeastern portion of the US. That's going to be a blocking area, so all of this moisture is just going to ride that ridge off to the north and to the east. And that's why it does look like all of that rain is headed toward the Wabash Valley over the next several days, even heading into next weekend. We have a flash flood watch that has been issued for all of our Illinois counties beginning tonight at 7 p.m. Lasting through tomorrow night and keep in mind all along our rivers here, especially the Wabash River, a flood warning is ongoing. More rain on the way over the next 48 hours. Check this out. Future cast rainfall potential puts these numbers anywhere from three to three and a half inches. Places like KZ to Mattoon to Terre Haute. Everyone really though getting in on that widespread rain over the next several days. But let's talk about tonight. Here's six o'clock on future cast. You'll notice that some scattered rain and storms look to stick with us. Picking up through the overnight. Here's midnight. Same deal lasting into Wednesday morning, keeping a fairly active pattern around. Looks like the wrecks are going to get in on some dry hours, but keep that rain gear handy as a chance of showers and storms will be possible through the evening tonight, dropping back into the 70s. And then same deal on Wednesday. We keep that widespread rain and storm activity around. Once we get a pretty saturated day shaping up Wednesday and even into Thursday. So your forecast for tonight, scattered showers, warm and muggy 70 year overnight low temperature and in the seven day forecast again, once again tomorrow, 70% chance of showers and storms for your Wednesday. Rain chances will slightly diminish into the second half of the weekend, but Susie keeping a close eye on Saturday and that's when it looks like the remnants of tropical storm bill will bring that widespread rain right into the valley.